Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to do a page in this book here from Hannah Carlson. I'll leave a link down below to where you can get it. It's a really cute little book. And I've got my little eye on these little mice over here. I love the owl too, but we're going to do this little one over here. And I'm going to have to pull out some colors. I'm going to make this lemonade. So we'll make uh, these lemons. I mean, it could also be um, orange juice if you want to do orange. Or you could do pink for if you wanted it to be grapefruit. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you like but I'm going to make it uh, lemonade and it's kind of like a um, bubbly drink so they put some 7 up or something in it how's that so we'll get out some yellow tones uh, some dark some light and then I got some other colors on my desk so we're gonna start with the lemons and we'll add some yellow up at the top of the page too I'll get you down Okay, first off, we will put a rind down. <laughs> so we'll get two of these yellows. I don't even know what I grabbed. Light yellow glaze, light cadmium yellow, cream, and uh, Naples yellow. So we'll just start with the, uh, I guess it's rind is down on this side, and then there's some pith in there, so we'll leave the yellow down here at the bottom. So how are you all doing today? I hope those who have heavy heat are doing all right. We're, well, 80s, 90s. Not too bad. Just do a lot of watering. <laughs> I gotta water the garden and the grass and all that kind of stuff. So I'm yeah, I'm using polychromos. I didn't say that, did I? And up here on this one. And we're going to go down uh, the side of the glass here and just kind of feather that into the liquid a little bit. There. Now we're going to go in with the cream. on all of those pieces. And we're going to bring that cream in here. Just very lightly. Hardly any pressure on there. You can see how, how far back I'm holding the pencil. and It'll keep me from putting too much pressure on here. I want the drink to have some color in it, but it doesn't need to be neon. <laughs> Trying to avoid the bubbles. I'm going to go in 
and put the ivory on our little sections. And up here. Okay, that's going to bother me. It's in the glass. Glass is transparent. So it should be, let's go here, in the glass. I think I have to make that wider. Let's see. I'm just measuring here. So if we go to the middle, it'll be out there. If we go to the middle, it's going to be out here. ish. So we can take it down this way. There, that looks better. Doing that with cream, right? We have to get uh, a pen <laughs> to do that. Do I have a pen out? I do not have a pen out. Let's see, what are you? Oh boy, you are tiny. I don't think you'll work. How about you? You're tinier. <laughs> okay. Dum, 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 I thought I had one of those out. Oh, here they are. Okay, which one are you? Could O3 probably work? You're a little too big. Okay, so we're just going to trace over the lines with um, O3. It's a Kirkura Pig Micron pen. <laughs> so we're just going to bring that line in here. be the greatest thing, but at least it's in the glass. Okay, Get let it dry a little bit. Um, we'll get the first color here and kind of lightly put it in because we do have our lemonade here. And we'll put a little water or a little white in there just to lighten it up a little bit. Okay. And 
And uh, let's see. Gonna darken some of these spots. This is the Naples yellow, and I'm just putting heavier pressure on that. I'm not doing anything else. Just a bit of pressure. We're going to take a little of that and put it underneath the bubbles. Some of them, not all of them, just pick a couple. Move this little guy down here. Okay, we're going to go into each lemon slice. Add a little line in there. Okay, let's see what we got here is the cadmium yellow. the bubbles again. Then we have the uh, light yellow glaze. white lines and kind of doing this roughly but doing it in lines that do this part. The lemon needs to have some white in it to give it some shine to make it look juicy. I'm going to bring in a little ivory. I have to sharpen that. In the center we usually have a white little piece of pith and that's the separation parts in here. And then we're going to go around and you peel a lemon or a orange or that kind of stuff. You, you have the outside that's really dark and then you have a white layer on the inside. That's the pith. It's a bitter part. <laughs> I'm going to go in here. Do the same thing. Lines going out.
Okay, we're going to get a little darker color. I need a white piece of paper here. It might be too... That should work. Okay, we're bringing in <laughs> cadmium yellow. <laughs> and we want to make this side a little darker. So we are putting pressure on that. Darken it coming down here, and then right behind here is a shadow. So we want to darken that. Just blend it out. That was great. Drop the pencil. <laughs> okay. We're going to darken this back here. That's a shadowy area. Then we're going to take... I'm going to take a white pencil here. Let's see if we can do that. This is the Holbein White. I think I need a... That's not a shaking pen. A white um, Posca. Let's see if it'll work. Okay, we're going to whiten. Bring up that glass. And we're going to whiten a bit of that dark line there. Okay, we're going to drop the lid. <laughs> That's not good. And we're going to lighten some of these lines on the bubbles. Okay. We're also going to lighten these lines. We might have to do this a few times. You can do it with white acrylic paint if you want. And then this one.
Okay. I think we'll do this one too. We need some grays. Don't know if I have any out. I want some cool grays because it's a glass. It should be cool. <laughs> a little bit blue in it. All right. We're going to go over on this side and shadow that a little bit. on the top. Bring in the, okay, that was the warm or cold gray number three, and this is the cold gray number six. A little darker. A lighter color. Just make like a little lip up here. Okay, down 
here too. Okay. Gonna make that um, juice a little more yellow in there. Light yellow glazes and we use we have a straw that comes down and you can't even see the straw but we're going to pretend it's there so the straw is going to come down it's going to be let's get a line something i can make a line with okay straw to the bottom about there we're going to take our cadmium yellow and just follow that line down. Go over, try to keep it. Should have done the other one first. <laughs> hmm. Lightly do that and see if that's where it should be. That's kind of where our straw is, so we want to just kind of make it look like it's there. What is it? Light cadmium yellow. All I have to do is decide if I want to put stripes or anything on the straw. Because I would have to do them now. <laughs> and what, it's a birthday party. Don't you think we would have happy straws? I would think we would have happy straws. So if we have lemons and um, one of these guys is probably going to have a blue and a purple or something so what color should the straw be eek um could be yellow have the yellow striping but i don't know it could be green it could be blue boy if we do blue on him and then do blue here and it would work. We could do blue and purple, maybe striping. How does a straw get striped anyway? We need to have a light blue. Okay, do they go down straight or do they go like a candy cane? Hold on. Okay, they can go any way they want. So we're going to start here and just do them about that wide. And then it curves here. Oh, 
bum, 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 bum. <laughs> then it would go into the water or the lemonade. It would be behind this bubble. Okay, something like that, and then we'll just make them a little wider. I'm gonna sharpen this. Okay, I'm gonna darken it on the side of the straw here. Then we'll go on this side and darken it coming down. I know my stripes aren't um, perfect, but... They're going to get whited out in there anyway. Up here. Probably we should another one here. And we'll put one in here. Holbein white, and we're just going to kind of lightly go over that. And then put a highlight right down the middle. These we don't really have to go over, but we can put that highlight right down that side. Boom. That works. Okay, we were making our lemonade a little lemonade earlier. <laughs> is that a word? We're going to make it a little more yellow. This is the cream just blend everything. It can go over the straw because the straw is in the lemonade. Go in with a little of the Holbein white. I 
to lighten this up a little bit because it's in the glass. All right. We're going to take a little of that Holbein white. Go around that little edge here. Lightening up that black line a bit. These lines. Bring some of that color out. Okay, I'll hold these down here too. Darken up a tiny bit of the uh, centerpiece with a little bit of the gray. to do that. We're going to put some little dots on the um, lemon. I think I'll bring in a little bit of the pit pen and lighten this just a little bit more. spots on that so I'm gonna take my eraser if I can find it yep you <laughs> and we're just gonna go in here and pull out some to give these guys some texture. Oh dear, I'm gonna drop something. Uh, <laughs> I need to pull that eraser out a little bit. Come on. Thank you. Get any of that yellow out of those little guys. Uh, the bubble probably should just be a little lighter there too. I don't know if the bubble is on the inside or the outside of the glass. There we go. Okay. Boom. 
mais. Uh, I'm going to use the same grays we used over here, and this little mice mouse down here is going to be uh, gray. So we're going to put a little shadow under his coat. Where his sleeve is. His little buddy standing on his shoulders. I think that's his other leg. And we'll darken this portion of the ear. tail a little bit. Okay, second color. And then we're going to grab a lighter gray. So this is one. His eye, let's see, nose, come up, bring a little bit of that down here, I don't know if that's too big. Too crazy. It's just 
gives you a little mouse. in with the grays. And the light. And then we will get a white. by and white. Go in here and lighten some areas. Put some little white fluff in there. Give him some 
black whiskers. in his eye. Looking up there at the straw. <laughs> when he's going to get that little drip that's going to come down. We need a little pink on him, so we're just going to go in and get some cinnamon, I think. A little pink in his feet. His toes. And like it in his ear. His little buddy's feet. Maybe touching his tail. Okay, what I'm going to do is call it for right now. And then we'll come back and do part two. We'll do the other little mouse and their little clothing. The uh, decorations on him. And we will finish off these little bubbles and put a little background on it. Hope you guys are enjoying and I will see you in the next one. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care, everyone. Bye now.